Welcome back to Knowledge Hub. Neutron star. Any of a class of extremely dense, compact stars thought to be composed primarily of neutrons. Neutron stars are typically about 20 kilometers, 12 miles, in diameter. Their masses range between 1.18 and 1.97 times that of the Sun, but most are 1.35 times that of the Sun. Thus, their mean densities are extremely high, about 10-14 times that of water. This approximates the density inside the atomic nucleus, and in some ways a neutron star can be conceived of as a gigantic nucleus. It is not known definitively what is at the center of the star, where the pressure is greatest. Theories include hyperons, kaons, and pions. The intermediate layers are mostly neutrons and are probably in a superfluid state. The outer 1 km .6 mile, is solid, in spite of the high temperatures, which can be as high as 1 million K. The surface of this solid layer, where the pressure is lowest, is composed of an extremely dense form of iron. Another important characteristic of neutron stars is the presence of very strong magnetic fields, upward of 1012 Gauss. Earth's magnetic field is 0.5 Gauss, which causes the surface iron to be polymerized in the form of long chains of iron atoms. The individual atoms become compressed and elongated in the direction of the magnetic field and can bind together end to end. Below the surface, the pressure becomes much too high for individual atoms to exist. The discovery of pulsars in 1967 provided the first evidence of the existence of neutron stars. Pulsars are neutron stars that emit pulses of radiation once per rotation. The radiation emitted is usually radio waves, but pulsars are also known to emit in optical, X-ray, and gamma-ray wavelengths. The very short periods of, for example, the Crab, NP0532, and Vela pulsars, 33 and 83 milliseconds, respectively, rule out the possibility that they might be white dwarfs. The pulses result from electrodynamic phenomena generated by their rotation and their strong magnetic fields, as in a dynamo. In the case of radio pulsars, neutrons at the surface of the star decay into protons and electrons. As these charged particles are released from the surface, they enter the intense magnetic field that surrounds the star and rotates along with it. Accelerated to speeds approaching that of light, the particles give off electromagnetic radiation by synchrotron emission. This radiation is released as intense radio beams from the pulsar's magnetic poles. Many binary X-ray sources, such as Hercules X1, contain neutron stars. Cosmic objects of this kind emit X-rays by compression of material from companion stars accreted onto their surfaces. Neutron stars are also seen as objects called rotating radio transients RRATs, and as magnetars. The RRATs are sources that emit single radio bursts but at irregular intervals ranging from 4 minutes to 3 hours. The cause of the RRAT phenomenon is unknown. Magnetars are highly magnetized neutron stars that have a magnetic field of between 1014 and 1015 Gauss. Most investigators believe that neutron stars are formed by supernova explosions in which the collapse of the central core of the supernova is halted by rising neutron pressure as the core density increases to about 1,015 g per cubic cm. If the collapsing core is more massive than about three solar masses, however, a neutron star cannot be formed, and the core would presumably become a black hole. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We appreciate your support and would love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. Stay tuned for our next video and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when we post new content. Thanks again for watching.